What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Bridge the Gap DFS YouTube channel. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, it's been a great couple of weeks. Uh, had a lot of fun putting these videos together. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions. Yo, GG. Yo, how's Fantasy Cruncher Pro? Should I? Should I? Should I get it? And I just told people, hey, you know, I haven't had a chance to, to play around with it yet, but um, I finally have, and <laughs> it's freaking killer. You know, yeah, I wouldn't expect anything less from, from Dave and Manny and the fact that they teamed up together to um, put it together. I mean, you know, two minds are better than one, and these guys killed it. So uh, we'll be covering uh, why Fantasy Cruncher Pro is worth a dough. The buck stops here how the new Fantasy Country Pro is the Giannis of DFS tools. Taking a look at review, um, had a busy couple of weeks. Um, spent a lot of time showing you guys how to play baseball, uh, showing you all of my secrets. Um, you know, I get questions on a regular basis of, hey, how do you do this, how do you do that? And it's like, literally everything I do is in the videos that we put together. And it's funny because people, will be like, dude, this isn't working. And it's like, okay, well, you know, then don't do it. And then other people are like, dude, this totally works and this is changing my life. And it's all about taking the time, first of all, watch the videos, because sometimes I'll get questions and people will be like, yo, what's up with this? And I'm like, oh, it's in this video. I'm like, oh, I didn't watch it. It's like, watch the videos. You know, I spent a ton of time on this stuff. Each session's, you know, an hour each. It's pretty much private one-on-one -on -one coaching customized to help you guys be better players. So um, please, um, watch the videos and hit me up with any questions you have, uh, but please watch the videos first um, to make things more efficient for, for everybody. And if you do ask me something and I send you a link to uh, a video where I covered it, uh, please don't be offended. It's just a matter of, hey, this is something that's really important in the process. I took the time to record it so that you would have every single detail and not miss it. So last week we did um, what I learn from Osimo and attacking 20 max tournaments, um, tons and tons of MLB coverage. And if you are being held back by your bankroll, um, I did over an hour on bankroll management. So please tune into those. So uh, we'll hop into this week's series and um, we'll just go through um, every similarity that I could think of um, from the dominant player that Giannis is to using the um, you know, Fantasy Cruncher was already a dominant tool, and now it just shot into a whole another level, a whole another echelon of what's out there for, for us DFS fanatics. So a couple uh, series ago, I had talked about when I met Pete Rose, and he had said, give me some advice of, you know, never be satisfied, stay hungry. And that is what I think about when I think about Giannis and Fantasy Cruncher. And when I say Fantasy Cruncher or I say Dave, I'm going to use those interchangeably. Um, and then, of course, Manny. All three of these guys are best in class at what they do. <laughs> it wasn't good enough. So we saw Giannis. Like, everybody kind of knew that when Giannis decided to put it together, it was going to be remarkable. Because you could tell he wanted to be great. And he just took it to an, another level this season. He just wasn't satisfied with, you know, being an MVP, uh, or excuse me, being an all-star this year. He's an all-star captain. He's going to win the MVP in a couple weeks. And that's how I feel with, with Fantasy Crunch. Fantasy Crunch was just an awesome tool. And, you know, Manny has lineup study, and he's doing his Twitch streams, and it's just like, these guys did not need to do what they did for our benefit, and they just took it to another level. You could tell they weren't satisfied, and there's a lot of competition in the DFS world for, for tools and for um, eyeballs and subscription dollars, and they're like, look, if you're going to compete in, in this market, if you're going to compete in this lane, we just took it up to here. You know, as they're already at the top, there's a new top. And, you know, the that's, that's what's so wonderful about – um, you know, Giannis and sports and DFS is, it's a competition. There's no participation trophies here. It's, you want to be the best, you show up and you compete, and we'll see who's really legit at this. And, you know, Giannis has left no doubt that he is, you know, a top player in the league, if not arguably the top player in the league. And what Fantasy Cruncher and Manny have done with FC Pro is, um, it's a game changer. So, 
we're going to get into the similarities. Um, this is the first thing that I thought of is this is Jonas's new shoe. He's got a man on God's mission and Manny. We have Manny and Dave here and they just teamed up and you don't create a product like fantasy pro. If you're not on a mission, it kicks a major, but, um, you know, they didn't need to do this. What was already awesome was working and they're like, no, this isn't good enough. We got to take it to, you know, the next step in this, in this, in this product. And it's just, it's phenomenal because I already know how many hours these guys put in to get where they're at with everything that they had already created. And I know the amount of hours that went into this thing that they put together for our benefit. You know, of course they want to create a great product because the better the product, the more, um, demand there's going to be for it, but they didn't need to do this. We're going to be the ones that benefit from it. And they just next leveled this thing. So I want to just keep the introduction brief. Um, we're going to stop right here and then we're going to get into some of the specifics of exactly why this product is worth your money. And if you're going to spend a single dollar on a DFS product, it needs to go here first. The buck really needs to stop with this product first. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you up with Catch up with you in the next segment.